Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Wherever you might be in the world, I appreciate you for listening. What's up, everybody? Jody J. Summers, child of the system, better known as Spoken Truth. So back with the second to last piece before this book comes out. Um, the process of you guys watching me and the last video, you know, I put up the artwork walls. But for right now, you know, you can see some of the artworks and all that good stuff. Um, it's been a beautiful process of looking in the mirror and figuring out what I was missing or what I really needed. And uh, a lot of you have been through that process with me. So... This piece is called Falling Upwards. I uh, hope you enjoy. hope you're listening. Hopefully you're growing, manifesting, and just being happy. And if you're not happy, then you're trying to figure out things that you can do to make your personal self happy. But either way, let's begin. Peace. Falling Upwards. There is no manuscript to life. You have to live it to experience it and make mistakes to grow. There are many basic instructions before leaving Earth sufficiently. Countless manuals left by prophets who lived hundreds of years ago. Translated history that fits the doctrine of the day. But none of them, no, none of them can tell you who you are. There is no manuscript to life. You have to live it to experience it and make mistakes to grow. You, yes you, are a living, breathing, thinking star created out of the elements that make up the universe with explosive potential so powerful that no living being has ever been able to calculate the magnitude of what you're capable of. There's no manuscript to life. You have to live it to experience it and make mistakes to grow. There is no cheat sheet to finding what your purpose is. You have to be willing to fail multiple times in unimaginable ways before you can even fathom, yes, fathom how strong you are. Do not doubt yourself or feel that you are unworthy of love because you deserve every ounce of kindness for the survival you have been through. There's no manuscript to life. You have to live it to experience it and make mistakes to grow. Your time is finite, and the more of it you waste on trying to make other people accountable for their actions instead of accepting them for who they are, the longer it will take for you to be happy with the lessons that they taught you. It's okay to feel that you were wronged or mistreated by anyone that tried to dim, obscure, or swallow your light. Just don't hold on to that hurt forever, or it will become the black hole that swallows all the joy within you. There is no manuscript to life. You have to live it to experience it and make mistakes to grow. Never settle for someone else's path to enlightenment if you haven't traveled down any dangerous roads of your own. The safest and shortest distance will leave you with no journey to tell what you've overcome. Hardships, yes, hardships, are a part of the process, and if you skip them, you'll be bitter and unprepared for your own trials and tribulations when the time comes. There is no manuscript to life. You have to live it to experience it and make mistakes to grow. What you do today may inspire someone to face their own demons, their own traumas, nightmares, and difficulties because you strode strength and blazed a path that no one had gone down before. There are many basic instructions before leaving Earth sufficiently. 
But you have to decide, are you the writer or the reader from a story that has been told as long as there's been stories to tell? So live the greatest adventure that the world may never know unless you decide to tell them from the experiences, yes, the experiences you lived through in peace. All right, everybody, much love. Y'all be safe out there. I'll see you in my timelines. And as always, the 